The structure of creative physical education involves four nested parts. Each team creates a game following a scaffolded process. A game becomes a sport when inserted in a season. The teams usually spend three or four classes creating their games, giving and receiving feedback and incorporating improvements. During this time, the teacher monitors game development. After these three or four lessons, the games will be well developed and closely owned by each team. The task of moving from these team games to one class game is therefore a political one. There are a few ways of approaching this. One, the e easiest, although not necessarily the best method, is to go with one of the team games. This has obvious political ramifications with other teams and only works if all other teams believe that this game is significantly better than theirs. Or two, the most common strategy is for the teacher to put together a composite game made up from bits and pieces of the games created by each team. This acknowledges the work of each team and highlights what other teams identified through their feedback as the best parts of particular games. Whichever method is used, the resulting class game is only still a draft. At least two lessons should be used to improve this class game, employing the same criteria and feedback processes used when creating the team games. This then enables every team to feel some ownership for the game, developing it further while learning how to play it. Reviews of the class game are similar to those of team games, but this time the review is fed back to the class so that changes can be made to the class game that everyone will play in the season. The four teams are involved in two games, all playing the draft version of the class game, which they will provide feedback on and amend as a class supported by the teacher. This is an example of a composite class game constructed by the teacher from parts of each team's game and then further developed through feedback from the whole class after trying draft versions. The layout for explaining the game is the same as that students use to teach their games to each other in teams. The length of the season in number of games is related to the number of opportunities students get to practice and improve. Note that in the finals, all teams continue to play. Even in the finals, the emphasis is on improvement, not just winning. Note the number of points awarded for a win, a draw and a loss. A team that loses a game has still contributed and so should earn points. This also reduces the apparent point difference between teams on the ladder.